Hallå Youtube! It is time to speed up my Linux and CLA. The computer där. And I have a new motherboard here. So this is now the budget version, the cheapest of the cheap. From AliExpress. A new mini ITX. Or maybe it is just ITX motherboard. I need a processor. And I have that. Here. That is a... Second hand processor. There, I think. That's the only possible way. Pushing the gives force. I'm a big fan of fans. There is already some stuff there. Pretty neat there. Two 8 GB sticks for in total. Uh, 16 gigabyte. Yeah. Why not? I mean, of course you don't need that much for Linux and see, but why, why not? Uh, that's it, I think, for preparation. So this board doesn't have a parallel port, and I don't need that. I need an Ethernet port or Ethernet port and a few USB ports. Uh, that's it. Yeah, HDMI of course. Power input. I will need to connect that. Power input. And I think I need to have one of those connectors there to, for it to start up. Hmm. It's a CAT 2000 stuff. There is the motherboard I need to replace or the computer. It is uh, completely disconnected now. Uh, let's remove that stuff and put this back in order. Now it is switched on again. See if something happens. Yeah, that will work just fine. So here it is, my old system. Let's see what it does if you're on this latency histogram. So one is supposed to load the system, but yeah, it's pretty well held together. Plus minus four microseconds, but there are plus minus 48. Now this works just fine. This system, so this is not a problem. It is more like, yeah, I want to know what it is. And if we start Linux and see. And this should now bring up my system here. And uh, that is a bit of the reason. I think it is a little bit sluggish here. So I upgraded Debian here to the latest version. I felt it kind of got, st got sluggish after that, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, it sounds a little bit much better in my Acer Cat system. Yeah, so that's the benchmark. Super smooth. Yeah, something to strive for. Yeah, let me take down this motherboard real quick. So this motherboard needs extra 12 volt input here. I didn't have that on the other one, so there are no connectors here that are suitable for that on this Pico PSU. But would you believe it? Some say you shouldn't hoard, but I had this lying around <laughs> and there is that one. So I just need to replace the old Pico PSU with a new one.
Oh, let's try it. Here goes nothing. Well, it seems broken, so I will replace it. The original PSU is back. I have soldered on that 12 volt separate supply there for the processor. It's a 20 pin PSU, but this should work. It should be compatible. So, if I now switch on, and it spins the fan there, and that is a good sign. And I have a mini switch here for power on. Looking good, looking good. Oh, it, it booted. <laughs> that was a little bit too quick. Well, I, I wanted it to boot, but yeah. All right, well, let's skip a few steps. <laughs> I thought I should go into the bias. Huh? Hey, that's not bad. It's up, yeah. I think I'm back. I have Ethernet, I have everything. Let's see what happens if I bring up Linux and see now. There we have it. Yeah, that didn't work for some reason. LCC, yeah, that's right. The etiquette isn't right there, so that needs uh, the MAC address. I need to change that. Anyway, we can do that latency histogram thing. Yeah, it doesn't look so good. It's a good spread there. But it is on 16 mic microseconds. At the max, uh, so maybe if it stays like that, then that is better than 49. Even if none of them are particularly important. There we have the MAC address. Now we have it's up and running. I'll we'll try Linux and see again there. And yeah, there it is. I'm not sure if it is uh, so extremely much quicker, but. <laughs> That's it then. So I, I do want to be in the BIOS though. Uh, oh, some some other keys were right. <laughs> okay, so here we are. I think it should be disabled. That is the right thing. Then it will not go into one of those lower power states. And after those changes in the BIOS, I get a pretty good plot in a latency histogram. Very well kept together, plus minus 7 microseconds. I may have found a problem though. And it's the fan, it sticks out quite a bit there. Yeah, that collides there, I have to rearrange that a bit. And just like that, they switch places. Now there is plenty of room. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.